Hi everybody and welcome to Father Son Rebuilds. My name is Jaime and Jaime Jr. is behind the camera. Guess what? We bought the cheapest Mini Cooper S in the country. I'm gonna show a picture of the Craigslist ad uh, somewhere around there. Uh, it's gonna show 500 bucks, but guess what? We got it for $300. At first I'm like, man, that's pretty cheap. Let's, let's, uh, let's look into it, but after getting the car, taking a look at it, and discovering all the freaking issues in it, now I understand why that guy took 300 bucks for it. So here it is, the 2003 Mini Cooper S, six-speed manual, obviously supercharged. That's what the uh, S stands for, obviously. So a uh, little background on me. Uh, I'm not a mechanic by any means. My father was, and we grew up with cars. I'm an insurance agent by trade, a little bit of real estate part-time and my son is a student. And what best time to start uh, during this pandemic, I don't wanna say the word that YouTube doesn't like, virus, something virus, beer virus. Uh, perfect timing, man. Uh, there's no school, there is school online, perfect time, perfect project, super affordable. And now I understand why this guy took 300 bucks for it. So let's get, let's get to it. Uh, obviously you can see the beginning or the front of the car uh this may be aftermarket i really don't know unfortunately we already started taking things apart but i'm gonna just show you what we discovered just a bunch of crap and it's just horrible 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 so around the car and then it will open the hood in the end uh, here is the exterior uh, why don't you open up the inside and you can get an idea of what it looks like um, it's not the best but whatever it is what it is Um, here are the most some of the important parts that we took out already uh we the engine is already out but uh you know it is what it is look at this crap i mean it's just just horrible um i mean fuel injector seals are just tore up oh, there you go look at that horrible 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 work on this thing uh let me show you something else look at this this, I mean, this guy, Roger, how dare you, brother? I mean, now I understand why you took 300 bucks for this thing. I mean, this is a, a joke. Silicone does not belong on almost anything. It's only for certain applications when you're in a bind or the manual calls for it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the supercharger, we already cleaned it. We'll show you that in a little bit. Um, I mean, look at this. This is um, this is above the thermostat. I, I think it goes to the supercharger itself. I think it's the, a, a map. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it. Let me know what you guys correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, I've been studying the car, so uh, I know this where this goes. I think this goes to the supercharger. I'm not sure. It reads. I think it's a, a map. A manifold absolute pressure sensor. I'm not sure. Whatever. Look at this crap. Horrible, man. Horrible. You should be embarrassed, sir. Be embarrassed about that. Um, that's pretty much it. Battery's disconnected. On the rear latch, I have it covered because it will lock on lock on you. Um, let's go. Let's go to the hood. Let's go up up the hood. So here it is. Uh, like I said. Unfortunately, we couldn't document the process to remove it. Um, it's pretty intense, believe it or not. It's a modern uh, four-cylinder supercharged engine, and it's, it's nothing to, to sneeze at. So, uh, as you can see, one axle is out. Pan to your right. One axle is out. It's actually bad. That's what. That's one thing. Uh, why don't you come over here, Junior? Zoom in on all that crap, all that grease. Looks like power steering fluid is leaking all over the subframe. Just a horrible, horrible, horrible mess. I mean, take a look at this right here. This, look at the, when I removed it. Uh, can you see that in there? There's a, I put a little question mark 
on some speaker wire that this guy did. And after removing the engine, I discovered that it's towards, it's, it's spliced into the starter solenoid. And speaking of splicing, let me show you what this guy did as well. Why don't you back up for a little bit, Junior? I mean, look at, I mean, this is household cord. I, I, I mean, Jesus Christ, more speaker wire. I mean, it's just, it's just a freaking mess. So, um, I don't know, so much, so much issues that I discovered. So the wiring, uh, all that goop, all that silicone, uh, all the splicing that driver's side shaft was leaking. Let me show you that. Here's some of the parts that we removed already. Uh, throttle bearing, pressure plate and clutch are actually in good condition. And this is the revised uh, Vallejo. Uh, uh, clutch kit, so that's a good thing. Um, and where's that? Oh, yeah, the axle's in the back. You can't see it, but the axle was the axle boot was leaking, so that bad axle boot. Um, what else? Axle boot. Uh, I broke some clips on the transmission. Uh, linkage. Uh, all, all those things that were just oh man, it was just a horrible mess. Uh, and unfortunately, like I said, we were unable to film the entire process. But this is where we're at now. Uh, let's show them the engine block. All right, so this is uh, the engine block that we removed. Uh, as you can see, this guy had something with green. I don't know what, I really don't know what he was doing. But uh, one of the things that stood out to me is more silicone on the supercharger uh, or water pump inlet. More silicone, more crap, horrible crap, man. I, I just, this is more work and more crap I have to replace. Uh, the oil dipstick also had silicone. The actual dipstick is, is, is uh, by the car, but horrible mess, just horrendous. Um, when we bought the car, uh, the owner said that he heard a rattling noise and uh, most likely rod knock because he removed, uh, he drained the oil and we discovered that uh, he discovered chips or metallic chips in the in the oil. So he just listed it, and little did I know the hor horrific project that I was going to get myself into. Uh, let's pan over to this side, Junior. Let's show them this side. Uh, another thing that I discovered is this guy deleted the oil cooler, which is supposed to be here, and he just looped it. And I think that was one of the issues. So since the oil was unable to remain cooler, the oil probably boiled over, just did not lubricate one of the bearings sufficiently. So, and maybe some cheap bearings it had in there. I'm not really sure. Uh, we're gonna show you the bottom end later on on another video. Uh, but this guy deleted the oil cooler, man. Like no freaking wonder. Uh, so this is what he did. Um, as you can see right there. I mean, at least he has some AN fittings in there. And, I mean, great, but he basically looped it and there is no oil co being cooled. Uh, I noticed, um, I don't know what kind of, I mean, I mean, this is, it is what it is. Come on to the other side, Junior. I noticed on some vehicles, uh, the R53 he uh, head has studs. This is bolts. But two Allen and other hex bolts. I mean, I don't know what this guy did once again. So it's just not good. Not good. Um, what else? Uh, this does have a an oil leak at the crank position sensor. As you can see, it's the, it's a, a source of the leak. Luckily, the rear main seal. Come over here, Junior. It's in great condition, actually. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that. Actually, you can. Yeah, real nice. No leak, no seepage, no nothing. Um, so the, the main source of two leaks is gonna be the crank position sensor. We're gonna replace all that. And then the power steering that's on the car. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, we may continue on another video. The actual, actually that's gonna be our second video is the next, uh, is the actual breakdown. We're gonna show you the damage and the, the bearing actually is completely missing completely gone but i think the fact that this guy looped the oil actually helped us and benefited us because it didn't spread all that crap all over the place 
and we actually we might pop off the oil filter right now so all right guys welcome back uh we're gonna pop off the filter housing and we're just gonna see what this is actually gonna be the first time that we do it so let's let's see if there's even a filter in there to begin with and let's let's see what uh, we discover hold the hold the stand junior so it doesn't move around on me oh yeah Ah, uh, no filter. Damn. Wow, the housing actually... Oh, you can actually see the chips. Oh my goodness, check that out. Wow, not good. Okay, um, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna start tearing this thing apart on our next video. Uh, we'll, we'll do what we can today. Uh, I think this video kind of gives you a brief description of what, what this channel is gonna be about. Um, and any future builds too. Uh, we'll, we'll see. All right, guys. So that's a quick uh, narrative of our of our project. Uh, this is a 2003 Mini Cooper S60 manual uh, rebuild project. Uh, there's a lot to it. Uh, I hope you guys consider subscribing if you want to see more about this little project. It's gonna be a lot of fun, man. I'm, I, I can't wait to start ripping gears on this thing. And uh, I'm having decided what we're gonna do. Uh, the guy who sold me the car, he gave me uh, a bunch of parts as well. So I ha I'm, what I'm gonna do, as we, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna sell those parts to fund the rebuild of this car. So we're gonna keep this extremely, extremely low budget because so everybody can relate, right? We're not gonna throw a $2,000 crank we're not gonna bore it out, or maybe we will. I don't know. It's still too soon to tell. Uh, that's the project, and um, we'll keep you guys posted as it is. Uh, so, yeah, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Consider subscribing. Uh, welcome to our channel, Father Son Rebuilds, right, Junior? Cool. All right, guys. See you on the next one.